So I've got one lens, macro lens, I'm just looking for anything I can find. Now the sun, um, the sun's kind of behind the trees at the moment, but it's not going to last for too long. So once that sun breaks above that tree line, then it's just going to be completely different. I found some rose hips, some beautiful rose hips. The colours like really leaping out at me, and um, I think we can do something with this. So the initial idea I had here, the, the tree that's behind this is absolutely beautiful. The, the yellow lichens on it, really, really nice colour. So I wanted to try and use that in the background, but it doesn't really work because it doesn't go out of focus enough. You can't really get it any more out of focus than still seeing the edges of the tree, which I don't want. I want it like a, a, a totally plain, colourful background. Sometimes you just have to, you know, go, this isn't working. Um, this isn't working, it's not quite what I had in mind. And just move on, find something else. Absolutely beautiful. So I found something here I really, really like the look of. And it's just simple. It's, again, rose, I think. Just a couple of rose branches. The leaves are just, they're really nice because they're really symmetrical. Wow, that was incredibly difficult. Uh, I think I'm just a little bit of uh, out of practice with this kind of photography. Uh, that just took me forever. And you know, it's funny how something you see at first, you think it looks great, and then you suddenly can't find compositions. Uh, what I opted for in the end was actually to come back. Um, so it's, it's like not a real close-up macro shot, but I've come further back and then kind of used a really wide aperture, f2.8. Uh, to go for it's a bit more of a kind of abstract image so I'm kind of shooting straight down the middle um, with and just focusing on the thorns or rather focusing on one thorn got some water droplets on the stem and then kind of got leaves going off on either side and then also because of the color behind at the moment uh, the background color just looks fantastic so it's kind of coming up as orange Now because the sun's actually got above that tree line which I talked about earlier, it's, it's actually casting a bit of light onto these leaves, onto this rose that I'm photographing which I don't want. So I'm actually using my body at the moment, I'm standing directly behind the camera with the sun behind me, I'm actually deliberately shading it. So I'm using my body um, just to put it back into shade. But the thing is it's not really affecting the background, um, so that's staying brighter so it gives a really nice, like a really nice balance, a really nice lighting effect. I've just found a bumblebee. Oh, it was resting and it's off. I thought it's going to be there for a while. Uh, been there for about a minute and it's off. What a shame. What a shame. When I first came down here, one of the things I noticed was there was a few spider webs around and in including on the teasel heads. And the spider web's still there, but it's just not showing up. So you really need the right conditions, sort of backlighting and a dark background, and it's just not good enough for that. So um, yeah, I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah, I'm not too sure about that one. Um, had a look. I've just taken a handheld shot. I just, I love the branches. That's kind of like the, the pattern to it. Um, all those sort of thin, straggly branches, all the yellow lichens. So it's kind of highlighting each, each branch as well. Um, and there's a little bit of colour in there from the, the red cherry leaves. But I don't think it's anything amazing. I'll put it up on the screen. Why not?
down here there's some absolutely fantastic hawthorn trees really nice bright red berries and the one i'm looking at at the moment it's just got a few sort of clearer branches it's not quite as clustered and the light it's kind of really nice light for macro actually um the sun's just breaking through the cloud slightly so you get like this weak backlighting which is if you know me you probably know that's one of my favorite types of lighting is weak backlighting soft backlighting so that's what we can do here so i'm going to go for something very very simple uh, it's not going to win any awards but we're just going to try and put this little section of hawthorn leaves and berries i'm going to try and put it against the darker background and hopefully it should stand out really well One of the biggest difficulties with this shot has actually been getting the tripod into place because I wanted to go um, a bit closer than I originally thought because I just want to do a horizontal and concentrate on just the top section. That's what I prefer. Uh, so to do that, I've had to get the tripod like literally into the tree and hawthorn trees, if you know them well enough, you'll know they can be a bit spiky. So I've had to, it's been a bit awkward. I've had to get the tripod actually in the branches to get into position. Now I've actually changed my mind a bit here on the background. So rather than just go for the purely dark background, I noticed at the top, there's like some out of focus highlights, just you know where the sky's coming through. And I actually quite like that. So I've, I've, brought the, I've brought the height down a little bit just to include a little bit of that, but not too much. It's just like, it's mostly dark background, but then this sort of out of focus highlights at the top of the frame. Whilst I was talking, I didn't even realise that the, the lights just dropped massively, so the, the sun's almost completely gone, clouded over, so it's a big difference now. The, uh, the first shot I took with the light coming through, um, which just gives it a lot more pop, and you need that for backlighting, really. Um, even though it wasn't really, really strong, but it was enough. And now, it's pretty much like even lighting everywhere now, so this is just gonna look very different, not as good. I'm gonna cheat a little bit because it, it looks quite nice, like the composition's okay, it's very simple, but I feel like it could do with something else. And there's a bit of space, kind of, well like bottom right, there's kind of a bit more space and I think it needs something in there. So I'm actually, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna grab a bit of hawthorn branch, right here, if you can see it in the frame, and I'm just gonna pull that up until it's just a little bit in the corner of the frame. That's just gonna give me a bit of out of focus mush out of focus blur. Absolutely amazing the difference that makes. It makes such a difference to the shot. It's just got way more impact to me. I completely forgot there to put the lens hood on. So if you're shooting into the light like I was, then make sure to use your lens hood because it's gonna stop lens flare. It's just so much better. And if you'd like to do a one-to-one -one session with me, this kind of photography or wildlife photography, just send me an email. Email address is on the screen and there's a link in the description below for more information as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you somewhere for another nature or wildlife photography video sometime soon. Straight down the middle. Um, I'm no Simon Booth.